We're continuing in lesson 24 on functions. We're at lesson eight. We've learned how to uh, call a function and order a function. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write our own function. They're asking us to write a set, co set coin function that sets the velocity to move down the Y position to the top of the screen and randomize the X position. So we're gonna come down here where they have the set coin and we're gonna code just like we would uh, any of these tasks. So we're gonna say our coin X equals a random number and that random number on the X axis is zero to 400. We're gonna code that coins Y and we wanna start at the top they say, so we're gonna set our coin Y equal to 10 and our coin velocity. So we're gonna do our coin velocity. Again, we're dealing with the Y axis on that. We're gonna set that equal to three. Uh, if you're creating your own game, you could use a counter pattern or all types of things here. So what you're gonna see is we've written this function now. So if we go to run, we can see because that function is being called, that coin is now gonna follow all of these rules, but we have this separate from the rest of our programming uh, to make it a little bit more readable. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to uh, bubble nine, and in bubble nine, they're asking us to uh, change the score now too to complete the game. Oh, I actually skipped one. No, I didn't. So we're still on that bubble nine and they're asking us to change the score to um, end, uh, to reset the game. So this isn't going to revolve on a function, but if we look at the func or the, it's going to revolve in the draw function, we have our bunny controls here. Uh, we have our coin. What happens here? We're calling the set coin function, which we've already written if the coin is, uh, the Y is greater than 400. And what we're going to do here is we're going to write an if statement. And what we're going to say is if our coin is touching, Okay, so back to this after my screen rebooted. So we're gonna come back to here and we're gonna say, if our coin is touching, what is it touching? Well, in this, our sprite name bunny, I'm gonna open my uh, if statement. What do we wanna have happen? Well, we have that score variable that they already set, it, set up for us. And we're gonna take that score variable and we're gonna add one to it. Now, because we caught that coin, we want to call that set coin function again. We want to be able to reset that coin. So this is an example where a function becomes useful. I've called it here and called it here. If I didn't write it as a function, I'd have to double uh, this piece of coding, which I could copy and paste down, but all of a sudden my coding becomes extremely large. So if we jump